Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another video today. So I'm super excited to talk about today's video and that is of course of the Elgato screen link. I'm going to show you guys how to connect this to your PC or Mac wirelessly and set up and all that great stuff um, inside of today's video. Now, of course, guys, I am an Elgato partner. I've been partnered with them for a while now and they've been an absolutely fantastic partner. Um, I've done reviews and videos on, of course, their other products such as the Elgato HD capture cards external ones uh, they have internal capture cards as well i've done a video on their green screen uh, of course the stream deck and they have a, a multitude of amazing uh, products such as even Thunderbolt connectors for like your MacBook Pros with they now have the USB-C you have like a whole dock and all that stuff But of course guys they did send me a code for the pro version so I can give you guys um, A setup review and all that stuff and how easy it is set it up and the difference between the regular version and the pro version All right, so let's go ahead and jump into setup. All right all right guys so you will need some software alongside of streamlink and that is of course obs and of course elgato software i already had obs downloaded on my computer so all i had to do was go to elgato's website and download either game capture or of course the 4k capture utility i went and just opted in download the 4k capture utility so i went and downloaded that once that was downloaded um just oh, install the program simple as that and once you are there um you are pretty much good to go on the computer software software side for your iOS device those are the OS's you will need now of course once you have that go to your settings go all the way down to control center and once inside control center make sure you have record a screen added to it so yeah once you're there open up OBS um, make sure you have a scene add a video capture device once you guys click that go ahead and name it screen link or whatever you want to name it I want to just type in screen link um, and once I'm there automatically puts in screen link and you're ready to go on your computer now let's go ahead and go over how to set it up with the phone so once you have OBS opened up go to the screen link app open it up open up your control center and press and hold on of course the button and make sure you have screen link checked off and then once you're there click start bro broadcast it will count down and once it is done counting down it will take a couple seconds but once it is there it will connect you now right now I am using the free version um, so there will be a little bit of a de delay you guys can see the de delay now I'm not the closest to my Wi-Fi router because we will go to the pro version and I have a noticeable delay as well um, but of course you guys can see this is how long it takes for the free version so you guys can see that so if we go into like an event you guys see it loads in that live. So here is the pro version. Let's go ahead and set it up just exactly the exact same thing. So the pro version and the free version, you set it up just the same. Go to control center, make sure screen link is checked off, and then of course start broadcast. And once it is connected, you guys will see it is connected. And then we'll go back inside of Madden Overdrive and we'll check it all out. So you guys can see on the screen. There is a little bit of a delay. I don't think it is as bad, but of course, like I said, I'm not that close to my Wi-Fi router. I think the closer you are, the less of delay and latency you would get. So of course, um, but yeah, this is the pro version, guys. That's the delay you guys are going to kind of see with the device. Now, of course, how to stop the broadcast is the exact same how you started. Just go ahead and swipe up on the control center. Once you guys do that, just hit the record button, click it off, and once you click that, it is done recording. And that's how easy it is to set up ScreenLink. But yeah, guys, really super simple to set up the screen link. Let's just go ahead and recap and close out this video. So as of right now, screen link is only available on iOS devices. I do not know if they are in talks of making anything for Android. Um, but of course, when you go to the app store, you can download screen link for free. Um, and then of course, inside of the free version, you can do have two caps on it, of course. Um, and that is you have that 15 minute duration capture time. So of course, if you are capturing videos, I feel like this is this is not bad. If you're just going to capture your footage and then do like a voiceover because you have that only they only have 16 megabits of bitrate for the delay and stuff so if you're only wanting to do that just capture footage screen link is the way to go um but of course for only ten dollars if you guys live in the states 14.99 for me in canada i feel like that is so cheap that is really really cheap um and of course what you get for the pro version it is unlimited capture time so that is great so instead of like for the free version every 15 minutes you have to close the app and open up the app again to get that three minutes of 
of free uh, capture time. You have unlimited capture time in pro version. And of course, your bit rate is better at 32 megabytes. And the closer you are to your wireless router, um, the less latency you will have for your, I guess, your capture time. So I feel like this is really great for streaming. It is probably one of the best budget HD quality for streaming for only $10.99, guys, to stream for it. Now, of course, you will have to set the minor delay. So there is that, but still $10, it is super cheap. As of right now, I am streaming off the Elgato HD60S capture card. Now, this puppy is freaking fantastic because there is no latency for this guy, but this guy is $200. So $10 for that um for the screen link and you can stream unlimited and stuff like that or of course if you want to go the more hd route yes and that's latency and stuff like that this is kind of more reliable because i've been streaming with it um with of course hd safety s which is about 200 dollars but there is another kicker because since this is an apple product you will need of course a dongle you need a, a lightning cable to hdmi and since it is apple this guy is $75 Canadian. So right here, this is about $300 just to go in and live stream your mobile content while the screen link and the pro version is only $10. So of course, you guys be your judge. Try out screen link. Like I said, it is free um, to capture footage. There also is a thing where you can go ahead and capture the camera. I did not show that on the recording, but there is that as well. Um, but of course, here is another uh, little example right here. I did go ahead and capture some footage with the pro version and you guys can see it is pretty buttery smooth so if you guys do want to just do voice over and stuff like that it is fantastic and of course if you want to stream the pro version is the way to go for only ten dollars and i feel like that's the cheapest way to go but yeah guys that was just my little um review and of course setup tutorial for the elgato stream link tell me guys your thoughts about it in the comment section below but really want to say thank you guys so much for watching always stay hype and i'll catch you guys soon peace What's up?